Treasury Secretary Dairy Vela says that the proceeds from oil and gas export or export returns have increased PNG's economy by 14 billion. Mr. Vela says that the only onus that will be affecting the economy is the declining oil prices. Part of the great thing about having you know, the likes of ExxonMobil and oil such as our partners is that they delivered the project well ahead of schedule, which allowed us to access those markets and those prices in which it was seller's time. So they're good times for us. So we'll leverage off some of that. So some of the growth that we were going to achieve in 2015, we're able to achieve that a little bit earlier. And so for 2014, we're looking at between 8 and 9% growth. However, with promising oil prices and LNG incoming export returns, PNG is expected to see major developments in the country. Developments underway include late tidal basin project, reconstruction of the island's highway and the upcoming Pacific Games. Meanwhile, the government will continue to supply services in districts and provinces through provincial support improvement funds and the district support improvement funds. The Prime Minister says that the government has spent close to 3 billion kina in the last two years and this year they will be spending another 1.6 billion kina with an additional 180 million kina since 2014. We have been part of a massive rollout of infrastructure around the nation from lay tidal basin, large projects like that, to the Kookaburra flyover here in Port Mosby, to many constructions of classrooms, bridges, jetties, and rural airports all throughout the country, particularly in rural locations. While the economy of this country is depending heavily on oil and gas export returns, agriculture will sustain the economy of this country in the long run. Eric Aurma, National MTV News.